East Gippsland region was devastated by the Black Summer bushfires of two years ago. Uh, it's a large region and so many towns and communities were affected, uh, particularly the townships of uh, Wariwa, Clifton Creek and Swiss Creek. And I think two years on it's fair to say that its recovery is still underway. Swifts Creek is a population of about 420. The hall was established in 1892 and it's been the hub of the community socially. Warriora Valley was established probably with the arrival of the rail about 1914, 1915. The hall and the recreation reserve were established through a process of like-minded community members coming together in the mid-50s with a need for a social place to gather. The modern Clifton Creek is probably a large rural residential community really. Clifton Creek Hall, it's a bit of a, an original setup. In recent times it's just been a focal point within our community. Probably six or seven times a year, we lose power. The 2019 fires was a terrible time because we lost power for so long, over a week. It was dense smoke everywhere. We couldn't phone anyone. The water was contaminated. We've had fires around the valley and affected the valley in the past, but never a fire of this intensity through the valley. A lot of people gathered here the night the fire came through. It is the place recognised in the community as being the safer place. There's been lots and lots of good times. There used to be Clifton Creek carnivals held here over the years and a lot of good times. And then some bad ones. 2019 like, showed some bad times. And, and since with the COVID thing, it's been a, a focal point for gathering and community activities. These are all different communities with their own unique stories to tell, with their own unique needs. Um, so the, the beauty of this project was that we really did sit down with each community and say what can we do to help and, and I'm really proud of the way that we've been able to impact these communities and help them in their own specific way. Now with solar, the power goes out, we can keep operating, we can maintain all the essential things we need to. It's just marvellous that we can have this uh, renewable energy and it's going to be reliable. Oh, it's just wonderful. It gives us resilience, preparedness, sustainability when it's really, we're down and out and that's the biggest thing a community needs is something to grasp onto or somewhere to gather at when the chips are down. This project is about so much more than just helping these uh, communities to rebuild after the fires. This is about creating long-term systemic improvements and changes to these towns. Uh, renewable energy is playing a key role in that rebuild, uh, in, in strengthening these communities for the long term as well, and empowering these communities now. They have their own reliable energy supply and they know that they'll be protected, and it helps to create a sense of autonomy and resilience and independence for these communities that they really value. Hopefully we will never see the events of these fires, but we could see floods in the next week or 10 days. And we could see windstorms, we could see grass fires this summer. So the work is for the community that is still here and recovering, but more so for the future generations that will, will use the hall for the same purposes, socially and disaster recovery and management.